man, five years in a row. Mike O'Brien in control of this match from USA. Yes, five finals, New Zealand. In the row, and they haven't won one the World Series. Most cap player of all times, having played a record 415 matches, is the New Zealand captain, DJ Forbes. But we're underway here with Dimitri Sukin not kicking the ball 10 metres, and now New Zealand immediately go on the attack. Bowden Walker will be the set play, the playmaker here. It's yeah, such a luxury to have Bowden Walker, who's very experienced. New Zealand Sevens team is the second playmaker to be able to come on and start in this game, but Russia can't give New Zealand opportunities like this with ball in hand. You know, the Russians just hold their ground, and Waka now takes it to the line. The late cut with Newstup. Andrew Newstup can't hold on to the ball, so an early error from the rookie. That's one thing Andrew Newstup does. He does challenge the line, but his coach won't yeah, like the way he took that ball into contact. Giving it an easy turnover, and against these teams, regardless of who you play, you can't do that. You have to be able to Build pressure by keeping possession, having multiple phases. Andrew Newstub from the Tasman region, which is at the top of the South Island in New Zealand, the landscaper by trade. Crouch, bind, set. Big scrum from the New Zealanders who can able to get it out and get it out to Davidoff, German Davidoff. They lose it. And on the attack goes Isaac to Tamaki in Jersey 11. Arriving is Molia and Yopu Yopu Aso. They secure possession. Newstep on this occasion goes wide to Waka. The kick, no sweeper in behind. A foot race bounces up. And Bodin Waka thought it was right there, but Sozanov did well in covering. Yeah, not sure that's the right option there from Bodin Waka. They had a nice turnover. You need to give that ball wide to your big men. See, they had two on the outside. I know there's no one in behind, but probably not enough space for this option, and it was easily covered by Sozanov. Get your bind right, boys. Well, they get the attacking opportunity. Coach. Here is Andre Sorokin. Coach. Hard to defend from here, too. I don't imagine Carlton on it. Especially if they get a clean heel here, it's going to be a three on two to the right-hand side. Quickly, they tap and go, Bodin Walker. They'll get the advantage. Not held, so gets up and goes again. First try to New Zealand. Through Bodine Wacker. When he gets here in the end, is Bodine Wacker. Probably luckily for us, he does score this try because it's quite a cynical stop and play from there. Probably a yellow card, if anything. Bodine Wacker gets his first try for New Zealand. 13th in his career. Yeah, off the base of the scrum. Bodie Waka was just waiting for the referee because he knew the scrum wasn't straight. straight. Russia were trying to apply the pressure. He knew he was going to get the quick tap. And that's a good heads-up play by the playmaker. number of New Zealanders around America and also have made the trip here. Some of them coming over for the UFC fight. Fight on tomorrow night. The high restart, Forbes goes up and tries to challenge, but it's captain on captain. And the Russian captain, German Davidov, does a great job. Sozanov gets in and then throws a lovely ball deep to where Babaev met Molière at the same time. Recycled nothing really on the right-hand side, and so they come back to the left. New Zealand look to try and steal it through Molière. Referee says play on. And so that's what they'll do, Pecky. Gets it and clears it out to where Babaev is again in Jersey 10. The Russians now looking to find some space up the middle. Newstep makes the tackle. Davidov gets it back to Pecky, who couldn't hold on to it. And now the Russians going backwards, but still in possession. They've held on to the ball. Lucky there for New Zealand because I think they were given a knock on it was a glaring one from russia no damage done do they go to the set piece line or do they back themselves new stuff doing some great defense at the standoff roll well, new zealand yet to pass the ball the stats in front of me so putting walker scored the try by 
taking it himself. Now he goes through the gap and offloads it to his captain, Forbes. Forbes not held and gets a few more valuable meters. They clear it, move it to the right. Molia gets it one to Tatamaki. Had a player on the outside. And Joas but opted to hold on to the ball and guilty of holding on too long. Yeah, good bit of defense here from the Russia team. That's what I was speaking about before kickoff for the other team. They just won't go away. You don't take your opportunities in. They really are good on this half hole cover defense where they let you go through half a bit of space and then they'll come across and affect those tackles. Some Russian supporters here in the crowd. Cooler conditions now here in Las Vegas. He's happy to be here, isn't he? He's very happy. Dimitri Sukin is in Sydney. 22 year old finds the target. Now Russia looking to strike back. Sukin bobbled it and went backwards though. The referee gets the late call from the assistant referee. Scrappy game. He's been very slow, hasn't the Both teams really haven't employed their attacking. No as yet. This New Zealand team, I know, with a lot of changes into their starting lineup. Still get to find their rhythm. Russia losing 43 nil against Argentina earlier today. And New Zealanders against Kenya had to do it hard way. 24 7 in that victory. We want to try and register two wins here on day one. And Las Vegas goes right and then gives it back to Molia. Molia on the angle, trying to find some space for new stuff. Good tackle coming in from Sozinov. And now they drive over the top as well, do the Russians. Great counter ruck from the men in the red shirts. Sozinov gets up and plays halfback. They've got some numbers here, have the Russians. Someone needs to go straight, ducks under the tackle. Did Babayev. David off the captain. They come back that way, and there's some space here for the Russian attack into to Tamaki. They go now. Russia across the field. They go. Sozanov tries to straighten things, and he gets it back. It's one of the smaller players in Sukin. Forbes with the tackle. Final play of the first half. Can Russia? Register their first try. Zevadov makes the tackle, and now they're looking good here. Other Russians, lovely bit of footwork from Pecky. 12 phases for the Russians, still in possession of the ball. Good patience, Sozanov, who started it with the counter ruck. Tackle. Some 50 meters back. Davidov clears it off the deck. Again, using the width, and that one's gone backwards. Forbes in to make another tackle. Referee's time now, we've gone 40 seconds. David off with the dummy. New stuff comes across it, and David off gets rid of one. Can't get rid of Tatamaki. Inside pass. Miracle ball. Picky scores. We just felt it was coming, didn't you, Willie, from this Russian team? New Zealand probably been a little bit too reactive rather than proactive on defense. They've had to make a number of tackles, and in there, just a dummy to get left. He goes to the right hand side. New stuff. This is the tackle to Tamaki does brilliant work coming across, but look at that, as you said, to throw in that miracle ball and it finds a Russian hand. What a comeback. German David off the captain right on the stroke of half time. In fact, we played an extra minute into the first half. This to draw level. Can't add the extras, but there is your try scorer, Emmy Patrice Pecky. Scores his first try on the World Series. We head to Oranges, New Zealand leads 7 5. And as Carl Tanana mentioned, the impact from the bench. Bodine Walker kicks out to the right. It's gone 10 metres. Forbes goes up and competes. Molia holds on to the ball, and now they look to try and keep their shape and move the ball. So Assault straight away gets into the contact. Walker, they'll get the penalty as well, and they'll look to just slow things down here in New Zealand. I would have liked them seeing them speed it up, though, Willie. That's when they look best. I think they're bringing the game down to Russia's level, where they're trying to play. So Russia won't mind this. They won't like. They won't mind taking it to the set, because I think New Zealand got to go quick, put them under pressure, get the defence going backwards. Yopu, Yopu. 
I saw with the penalty out to Bodine Waka. They use a decoy runner and then Newstub gets it out to Molia. Molia one off to Tatamaki. And that's what Kaltanan is talking about. Pace, the ball will always beat the man. And Isaac Tatamaki gets his fifth try in the series. This is what you want, easy tries. There was nothing special going on here except some nice dummy lines by DJ Forbes just to hold that defence a little bit. Sione Mulea, just a little bit of a stop start to get on the outside of his play, create that 2 on one easy tries without Kate taking contact, saves your energy and you get points. And that's the worst possible start for the Russians after putting themselves back in a position. This is an important kick would mean that Russia would have to score twice to draw level still seven points the difference and there is the try scorer Isaac Tatamaki out of the Waikato region form plus tournament especially since Wellington I think a lot of confidence from their tournament really has brought it in to Sydney and here in Las Vegas Isaac Tatamaki well, Russia had their best winning streak leading into this tournament four good wins in Sydney on day two, meant that they were looking to build some confidence. They took red a ball, red ball, red against ball. Argentina earlier today in New Zealand. Now they're looking to try and add. It's not in the touch. Line out. Scrum. 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 The only thing that matter for New Zealand is the W. I don't think the score Scrum. is going to really right matter anything. They just want to make sure they get into the quarterfinals tomorrow. They've got another game against Argentina, which will be very, very tough. The main goal come out with two wins on day one. I already looked. Crouch. Well, they're going to test them, aren't they? New Fine. referees. We get plenty of conversations with some of the veterans, in particular DJ Forbes. But Sukin gets it and clears it, and going back to get it is Babayev under real pressure. Coming in is Trao Joas to try and close that area down. And now there's Pecky, the try scorer. Takes the ball forward. Forbes asks questions at the breakdown. Quickly it's cleared, there's Davidoff, the captain, German Davidoff in the tackle of Tatamaki. Just got caught on the wrong side of the ball, they did Isaac Tatamaki. And you see here Russia, once again, just slowing it down, go to the set-piece line-out, trying to affect it there and get out of their own territory. Currently 14th on the HSBC World Series table. And they want to try and avoid that 15th spot to stay as a core team, so points are valuable. There is Andrew Newstar, one of the new faces in this All Black Sevens team. Had a tremendous time at the Nationals for Tasman. Three players actually from that Nationals in New Zealand are in this All Black Sevens setup. Now, we Russia have been very good, is it? The breakdown is an unfortunate mistake there from the throw in. Come off. Black getting there, so bridge there quickly, Black and the three third men halfback and tearing the ball very quick. And here come those replacements now, Willie, Take for New scrum, Zealand. Marks here. Marks here. Push. To me. In to shoot. Me. Another man from the Tasman region, Stop, big engine. Crouch. Tasman in New Zealand, the top Fine. of the South Island. Set. I thought Kuroi might have been brought on as well, but Waka doing a good job there in the sweeping position, picks up the ball and runs lateral and drops it off to Newstub. He continues to run wide. The cut to Tatamaki was inaccurate. Loose. Very, very loose here from Newstub. No, it's not Try to give a miracle ball out the back door. You just have to give... Or do your job properly. You don't have to do this flashy stuff trying to do that. Why don't you just give it on the impasse to make sure of it? I think at the moment that's been a disappointment for Mike. A lot of errors in this game from New Zealand. Russia have given the ball away on eight occasions. New Zealand six. Maybe it's a mindset, maybe it's the time of the day, but they need to be a lot more clinical than that. And now the penalty won't help their cause as Sukin wants to get on with it. Davidoff thought, looked and held the ball up. Now they look to hold him up. They've got a release now because he got his knees to the ground. Babayev clears it out to Pecky. They go across the field that looked a little high and the referee agrees. And slow it down, take it to the line out. Unconverted try away from evening this game up. Time off. Smart play by Russia. I thought it was tough as well. Red one. One. With that tackle, DJ Forbes. It was the one I think pinged for it. Time on. Kotov comes on, so some replacements for the Russians. 
They have never beaten New Zealand. And they are now just two minutes away from a converted try that will draw level. There's no urgency from this New Zealand team. They haven't been able to really employ that. Black time. 10. Black 10. They're finding it hard to gain position one. And when they have had it, they've given it away too easy. I think that's what the problem is. And Sorica now knows he's in with an opportunity. They need to get this line out throw right. They had the last time. Line out was crooked. Time on, please. The Russia have to be accurate here. Zivitov in Jersey 6 will be the target. They'll look to go back. Then they go forward and he goes up high. But Forbes comes in and steals it for New Zealand. Collier is on in jersey number five there playing halfback. Looks up and then gives the ball. Delivers it to Waka now. Mickelson with the kick and chase. How many times have we seen that throughout his career? The bounce is good for the Russians, but there's plenty of black shirts there. Driving him back is Ng Shu. Mickelson goes around them now. The Russians look to break out. The miracle pass over the top. Bit of a hospital pass as well. Collier makes the tackle. Mickelson is there as well, so they hold him up. Not a mall yet. Now a Russian player has got him. Good play by the Russians to hold on to possession. Davidov clears it. What about popping the ball again? It's down to keep their shape and keep the ball here, uh, Russia. Picky wanted the ball on the inside, didn't get it. Now they get it back to where Waka has the ball. Bodine Waka for the sideline. Forbes on the inside. DJ Forbes will score another try. The captain goes around the cape and brings it around to improve the position. Try 144 for DJ Forbes. What I like about DJ's play this season is he looks like he's back enjoying his football. Nice pass here to flick it up to Bodine Waka. But look at Bodine Waka go to work. Jaws and two defenders just with that little stop and play. And DJ Forbes always knows his running lines and gets another try for New Zealand. To Mickelson, 186. DJ Forbes, 144. Sherwin Stow is 122. So they've got some Centurions in this squad. Sitting alongside a Centurion in Kautanana with 113 in his career. And you're so right, he is enjoying his football again, isn't he? What's pleasing for me, though, Willie, they brought on the subs that definitely, definitely lift the intensity straight away with Tim Mickelson. I think um, Dylan Collier as well. He's really added to this All Black Sevens team. Well, that was the kick from Mickelson, wasn't it? Really gave him some momentum. And now the high restart, 19-5. Mickelson goes up. And New Zealand look like they have secured possession. Mollier gets it. Points also important in this competition. And so they won't kick the ball out here, even though we are into referee's time. They look to just try and find another mismatch. Mollier takes the ball to the line. Mickelson gives it to Forbes. Quick hands out to Ng Shu. Ng Shu with some footwork. Staying strong is Ng Shu. Forbes. Mollier. Waka, who started it with the try earlier. There's Collier. Coming in off the wing to try and make the tackle is Babaev. And Davidoff is there as well. Waka clears it. Good ball movement again from New Zealand. Oh, TJ Forbes got checked. Was never going to win that race. And that will conclude the game. The unbeaten record continues for New Zealand against Russia. Three tries to one. And New Zealand get the job done, beating Russia 19-5.